what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to share my favorite trade right now. And my favorite trade right now is going to be Kronos Group against Canopy Growth. And what I did in front of you is I have a chart. It's on a daily. And all I did is I overlapped Canopy Growth and Kronos Group. On Thinkorswim, you hit this little beaker, go to comparison, CGC. You don't need it on the left axis. OK, apply. OK. The most important thing in any kind of analysis like this is you need to make sure that show price is a percentage. Because we want to show the price as a percentage because we're going back to 2017 and we want them to have a fair starting point. So right now, if we go back to 2017, you can see that Kronos Group represented by the yellow line and Canopy Growth represented by the purple line move in lockstep together. They are extremely highly correlated. Not every cannabis company is highly correlated. But out of, the cannab out of the cannabis companies, these two tend to trade the most correlated, which means when the relationship breaks down, you could probably, at least historically, expect them to come back together. Does everybody see what I'm talking about right now? Does this make sense for everybody? When the relationship breaks down, it's a really, really, really good trade opportunity. And you can see it three times this year when that relationship broke down it was a phenomenal phenomenal trade now when that relationship breaks down you could buy one you could sell the other you could do a relative value trade things are coming in chronos jonathan i'm sure you know that chronos is a buyout well chronos isn't a buyout what happened with chronos is they got a major investment by a cigarette company that uh, invested $1.8 billion in 45%, which led Kronos to gap, to jump. And Kronos jumped from about $10 up to $13. At the same time, CGC hasn't jumped at all, hasn't really moved. Why, and here's the question that I'm asking, and I'm asking myself, I'm asking everybody, okay? And I'm going to make this section a YouTube video. So if you're watching this, please put in the comments if you agree, if you don't agree, why you agree, why you don't agree. But why would Kronos increase by 40%, but yet a highly correlated name in the same exact industry wouldn't move at all? What would be the reason for that? Because... I, for one, I have no idea. Right now, there's five major players in, can in cannabis. You have Kronos Group with a market cap of $3 billion, GWPH with a market cap of $4 billion, ACB with a market cap of $5 billion, Tilray with a market cap of $9 billion, which will soon be $5 billion. They have their lockup coming up. We can't do anything in Tilray because the options are just too freaking expensive. And then we have CGC. CGC has got a market cap of 10 billion. In my mind, just going through the questions, CGC dropped each of the three times. Okay, fine. I see that. I'm not sure I put much weight in it. It didn't drop this time. It actually rallied this time. If Kronos are being brought out, it may change the relationship. Maybe. But think about it this way. Let's say there are five of us and we all are in the same industry. And all of a sudden, we've been moving together, all of us together, and one of the five of us get a major investment from Microsoft. And we're doing something very unique. Does that mean the other four of us, the valuation goes down? I tend to think the valuation goes higher because... Altria noticed a premium, paid a premium for the value that Kronos was trading at. They paid a premium to get into an established company within this industry. Therefore, I'm concluding that CGC should also 
not only be correlated, but trade to a premium as well. So therefore, the entire sector should benefit from new investment coming in. It's just making it more mainstream. That's my personal thesis for the trade. If you disagree with the thesis for that trade, this trade is not for you. I am not trying to convince you at all. Everybody needs to make their own decision. Whenever I personally make a trade, I need to have a thesis. This is the thesis that I have. So then I look for ways to take advantage of this th thesis. Ideally, I would like to get long CGC, but then I also wouldn't mind a little protection getting short Kronos Group. So now let's go to the options and I'll share exactly how I'm looking to express my opinion in this trade. Here's Kronos Group for CGC. I do have a position in Kronos Group. It's something I trade quite a bit, but initiating a new position, I would want to go out to January and I'd want to go out to January because the calendar, because when we walk into December, December holiday time, I'm concerned that volatility at any time could implode and just the market goes to sleep. So therefore I like the trade. I don't mind holding these options for 39 days. I'd want to go out to January. And in doing that, if I use the example of a thousand dollars of risk, here's how I would do the trade. 37 halves. I'd want to buy $400 worth of these 37 halves. In order to do that, I might buy a three lot. If the position goes against, I might buy another $300, $400 worth and ladder in to $1,000 of risk. That's how I would get long CGC. At the same time, what you can consider doing is maybe you sell some upside calls in Kronos. I would sell these quote unquote naked, but I don't look at this as a naked option play. I look at this in what I call to be like a quasi vertical debit spread because I have two highly correlated assets where I can buy calls in CGC and sell upside calls in Kronos Group. That's the trade that I love right now. I'd strongly suggest you consider it paper trade. But again, if this idea doesn't resonate with you, if you don't listen to this idea and maybe listen back and say, you know what? I don't get it. I don't like it. Don't do it. No problem. Trades, you have to believe. And if you don't believe, and if you're second guessing, you're never going to be able to really hold and Mr. Market will scare you out because Mr. Market is excellent at scaring out weak hands. That's the trade I like. Long CGC, short Kronos Group. Any feedback at all? I'm all ears. Thanks, guys.